Recently, I saw the most amazing video on TikTok. It actually felt too good to be true. So I had to look at the science to see if it would back up the incredible claims. Now I must just say that before making any changes to your diet or adding in any kind of supplement, you must consult your healthcare provider first. When it comes to chronic health conditions, and especially when it comes to cancer, the consequences of making a change to your supplements or diet without consulting your doctor first could be devastating. That said, here's the video. In June of 2009, when my 84 year old mother called me up and said, Paul, I have something very serious to talk to you about. She said, my right breast is five times the size of my left. I have six swollen lymph glands the size of walnuts. We spent a large part of June at the Swedish Breast Cancer Clinic in Seattle. The oncologist examined her, and upon the second examination, she had a 5.5 centimeter diameter tumor. It metastasized, it went to her sternum, it went to her liver. She had stage four breast cancer. The doctor gave her less than three months to live and stated it was the second worst case of breast cancer she has seen as a doctor in 20 years of practice. But then the doctor said, you know, you're too old to have radiation therapy, you can't have your breasts removed. But there's an interesting study on turkey tail mushrooms at Bistir Medical School, you might want to try taking those. And that's, my mother goes, well, my son's supplying those. So she was put on Taxol and Herceptin, wonderful drugs. And then she started taking eight turkey tail capsules a day, four in the morning and four in the evening. And that was in June of 2009. And today, my mother has no detectable tumors. Now, turkey tail mushrooms are not only high in antioxidants, but they also have lots of different kinds. This study found that turkey tail mushrooms have 35 different phenolic compounds. They also contain polysaccharopeptides, including PSK, and PSP, which may help boost the body's immune system. Now, the man in that video was Paul Stamets, and he published this case report. And the study he mentioned was this study. It was a very small study. Nine participants with stage one, two, or three breast cancer underwent standard chemotherapy and radiation treatments. They then took three, six, or nine grams of turkey tail extract in divided doses each day for six weeks. At the end of the study, the researchers concluded that the extract contributed to increased levels of cancer-fighting cells in the immune system. This study found that the combination of this type of turkey tail and this type of reishi mushroom may improve both survival and quality of life for some people with certain types of cancer, including breast, lung and gastrointestinal cancers. This review of 11 clinical trials found that PSK from this type of turkey tail mushroom helped lung cancer patients who underwent radiation treatment live longer. Other aspects were seen to improve in the patient's progress, including body weight, immune function and quality of life. People living with other cancers may benefit from turkey tail mushrooms too. For example, a review of eight studies that included more than 8,000 people with gastric cancer found that adding PSK to their chemotherapy helped them live longer. Interestingly, in this systematic review and meta-analysis, researchers found that PSK from turkey tail is a safe and effective supplement for people with colorectal cancer or other forms of intestinal cancer. The authors of the review conclude that people who take PSK may have improved survival rates and they recommend combining PSK with chemotherapy. Most of the miraculous effects appear to be anecdotal, but it's definitely interesting and worth a bit more exploration. There are some possible side effects that slightly concern me, such as diarrhea, gas, bloating, and darker pigment in the fingernails. But I think my biggest concern is that the only way to really take turkey tail, it seems, is in supplement form. And we know that the FDA doesn't regulate dietary supplements in the same way as medicines. It goes without saying that because turkey tail is a fungus, anyone with a mushroom or mold allergy should completely avoid it. However, with all that said, these researchers looked at studies of five types of mushroom, including turkey tail, as complementary cancer treatments and concluded that the evidence base for using mushrooms in cancer treatment has greatly increased. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.